So let's now get closer to the application or to the final step. Not final, but let's get closer. Yeah. So when I load the application, you can see here we have um, a text, and when I click here, nothing happened. And when we click on undo, we change the text. But remember, I told you that this pane will be for images. <coughs> So, so let's try to add an image instead. So, yeah, how could we do that? Let's try. Yeah, when someone click on open on my my toolbar, yeah, open file. So, um, we can add add some action as we did it here. Uh, where, where we did that, yeah, as we did here. So all we have to do is use this open file and triggered, and we connect to the slot self, and yeah, let me say it open image, image. yeah. But this function, we didn't define it yet, so I copy and let me create it. But I would like to create it somewhere here, because we will use the image probably. So we define this and yeah. So to load the image into the PyQt file, we can also use OpenCV. But remember, with open OpenCV, when we use im show or img show or im show, I think yeah, im show, uh, we have a window with the image. But we do not need something like that because we already created a window. So we have to put the image in our window, but we can also use OpenCV. So the way we can do that is like CV2, yeah, but we have to read it. So let, let me use this, use, but I hope that I spell it right a little. So yeah, we have the image and we are not going to show it by using the way that we did before. So now, we can use library that we imported before. Let me see if I have everything. Yes, I have Q image, Q big pix map. Yeah, so we can use them to put the image in our application. So we can create this show IMG. We create the object and then we will use it to put it in our our application. So we use the library Qt UI and Q image and the Q image. We will use the image that we set here, but let's give it a name. The image as we remember. So I can put it here, the image, and we get data from the image, and we can use again the image and the shape. We use the index one and the image again. This is the way that we can create the object image. We prepare the image for by Qt5. So we use again the image shape and right now we use zero and we will do something to get the proper size of the image, the image shape one and then times three yeah. to get everything from the image and Qt I don't like this QT UI 
that Q image, we have to convert it format RGB 888 and yeah remember we yeah this is the, the function just show up because the image we should swap the RGB because at the beginning I told you that by that OpenCV use BGR but anything else or I, I'm not saying anything else but so many things else use RGB so we have to swap the color because if we do do not do that the image may have another color so we just add RGB swap and we have the object prepared so what we can do right now is just put the image in our image label so let's do something like self image label set big maps and we use q big max big map and we just take the function from image and here we pass the image image object that we have created so let's see if it works. So let's run the program. Yeah, so now we have to click on open. Yeah, it works. But you can see the image is like smaller one, but we may add some sometimes a bigger image or a very large image. So we may have some problem with the view because as I can see here I have some space here and here also so I, I will show you what we can use to prevent that so before showing up the, the image we can do something like self self image label set scale scaled contents and we use yes for that so let's see right now can you click on open yeah you can see we have the full screen our our small screen we have we have it full with the image so we may change the stakes here we can use the path of the image or whatever you want to to do here but this is a very quick or easy way to put the image but imagine that we have we have this application we could use it as a real world application so if we put the application for example in the internet and user may may not use pytron to change their picture so what we we want to do is when i click on open i don't want to load a specific image i want to have access to load image from the computer so let's go ahead and do that in the next video